Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do a review of the Fire Bible that's in the English Standard Version, as you can see there. This one is the hardcover. It's got the red, orange, and yellow with the white on it. Good looking Bible. I like the way that they did that. Got a nice spine. This one is done by Hendrickson Bibles. There is a little bit of information about it there. If you'd like to pause and read that. Here are some of the features of this one. As far as it's got theme finders, so you've got uh, 12 important topics throughout the scripture, more than 70 articles. You got, of course, study notes, book intros, and all of that good stuff. Here is an example of the text size. Here is our ISBN number. This one retails for $49.95. Right now you can find this one on christianbook.com for just $25, so good deal. You can see we just have plain white page edges on it. It does measure out at nine and a half inches tall by six and three quarters wide, and it is two inches thick. It is a sewn binding. We've got nice head and tail bands, and for a hardcover to have a ribbon, that is always an added bonus for me. So I do appreciate that it does have a ribbon. And with the sewn binding, as you can see, this one just lays perfectly flat with no breaking in. So we've got our just a typical few pages of blank cardstock in case you want to take notes. We've got our presentation page. Then we get into our title pages. There's the different ISBNs that this one comes in. This particular one is in the 2011 text. So we've got our normal table of contents. We've got all of our article contents. So I'll pan down this so you can see some of the articles that is in this one. So it's got over 70 articles. I've read a handful of them and they're really good. I do enjoy the articles that are in this one. Now we've got the contents of all of our maps and charts. We've got all our abbreviations. On this one I did notice when I was reading this here because I do like to read any Bible that's got God's plan of salvation, I always like to read it, see what they happen to say. And so I noticed when I was looking at this, and it talks about this particular article for Biblical Words of Salvation that says it's on 1850. And so I was reading in about that area in Acts, and as you can see, there was no articles here. So I read through all the notes just to see if perhaps they were in the notes, maybe. And found that they were not so it's actually on page 1880 is where it starts on there so if you do pick one of these up you may want to just make a note in that front section so that you know where that article actually does start so I'm gonna get back to that page if I can find where it was at okay so here we go so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take one of my little fine point pens here this one is an extra fine. And so these are like a micron pen. They're just a little bit skinnier, but they have a fine tip point. So I'm just going to take and make that five. Just add a little line and make that into an eight. So you might want to do the same if you happen to pick this one up. But I do like the nice color that it's got the red writing on there. And then, of course, we have a preface to the ESV, an author's preface, and then we've got a how to use the Fire Bible. So we've got different sectional headings, cross-references, study notes, book intros, and all of that good stuff. I did want to highlight here that the study notes at the bottom of the pages are written from a Pentecostal perspective, so keep that in mind if you do pick this one up. And that certainly doesn't bother me. I like different types of study Bibles, so I like to get different perspectives. This is one neat thing that's in this one is the theme finders. So we've got the little symbols and then what they stand for. So that's kind of nice. And rather than having to memorize it, I just made myself a little cheat sheet so that I know what the symbols are and then what it means. And then I'll just stick that in the Bible as I've been reading it. And we're going to get right into our Old Testament. Each book introduction is going to start with a nice outline. Then we're going to have the author theme, data writing, and background. And then we'll have the purpose, there will be a survey, special features, 
going to have New Testament fulfillment, which I do like that. I think that's pretty neat. And then if you follow the one-year reading plan, then it's going to give you the little section right in that book to go ahead and mark off the days. And then it's give you a nice spot for notes. As you can see, the stitching there, this does have a nice sewn binding, so it is going to hold up for you. And then we're going to get right into the text. So the way that they've done this one here, it is line match, so you're going to get very minimal ghosting, which is really nice. The font is a nine point on the text, and then down in the notes, we're going to have an eight point. So nicely done with the way that they do that. And then we've got all of our cross references on this inner column. So I like the layout of that with the two column format on both the text and the notes. And I like that the references are here versus on the outside because I'd rather have these fall into the gutter than the text. So I do like the layout of it, which is nice. And then they do have nice little features throughout the notes as well, which is kind of nice. And then we've got a bunch of in-text articles, which is nice. So right when we get into Genesis and the creation, we've got a nice article on the creation. But the text is done really nice. I was surprised to find that it was line matched. So I do love it when a Bible is line matched. So there is one of the themes there that we've got. And so on the mountains, that one is uh, Faith That Moves Mountains, is one of their themes. But we've got a lot of nice in-text maps, which is nice so that you can, as you're reading about the story, you can kind of see where that took place. So I do like that study Bibles do have that. I think that's really neat. Got another map right there in Exodus, so you can kind of see their travels. Then there's lots of in-text charts. So we've got all of the Old Testament feasts. We've got the major ethical concerns in the covenant. There's another article on angels, but it's just nice to have all of these things right within the text. We're going to have nice drawings and depictions that show different things. That one happens to be Solomon's Jerusalem. Then we've got another nice map. Now the text is just the, the black and white. There's not a lot of color in it. But it's still nicely done, and with the line matching, that is just a nice added bonus. So in some of the charts, once we get into some of these charts here, as you can see, Kings of Israel and Judah, then it does have some color on those. But aside from that, you're not going to have any other color other than a little bit of the red that's in there. So we've got the Old Testament prophecies fulfilled in Christ that's here in the Psalms. And then you can see there how the text is done in the Psalms. Had this Bible for about a week. I've been enjoying it. I do like the way that they've got this one laid out. Here's a little chart that gives us some information from Malachi to Christ. So it does give you a little bit of information for between the Testaments, which I think is always helpful. And then we get right into the New Testament, and it is red letter as you can see. So it is a nice shade of red. It could be a little bit darker, in my opinion. I prefer it to be a little bit darker than that. But it is at least red. It's not uh, pink or anything like that. So that is nice. And then we've got uh, several pages here of the ministry of Jesus. We've got the parables of Jesus. We've got the miracles of both the apostles and of Jesus, which is kind of neat. So I like the way that they do all of this, and uh, like right here in the book of Acts, we've got the, the article on the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So I love that story in Acts when they're talking about that. So just a really neat Bible. I like the way that they've done this one. I love it when you have the in-text map so that you get a good idea of where these things took place, which is nice. Let's get you a shot of the ribbon here. I love when a hardcover at least has a ribbon. Now it's not a fancy one, if I can get that to focus. But it does have a nice feel to it. It's kind of wadded up because when it came it was all kind of stuffed up like that and in the book 
rather than laid out. So I'm trying to get it to flatten out. But it is really nice when a hardcover comes with a ribbon marker because that's kind of rare. And we've, that's just our article showing that it was on the wrong page. So if you get one, double check that. That's the only one that I've seen that wasn't in the right spot. But we've got the work of the Holy Spirit. Just some neat charts, some great articles that are throughout this one. Tons of articles. There's over 70, so a lot of stuff to read. Now we're going to have our weights and measures, and we've got a subject index. And the way that they've got the words in red, that is nice, the way that they've got that laid out. And then we're going to get into our theme finder. So this is one thing that's kind of neat. If you wanted to look at these different themes and read about them, it's going to tell you all the different places where to find them. So I do like the way that they do that. And so I am probably going to bookmark that page while I keep this one anyway, just until I do find someone to gift it to. And then we do have a read the Bible in a year. So if you did want to do that. And then we get back into the ESV concordance. So the print in the concordance is a little bit smaller, of course. But it is nice the way that they've got the words in red. So even though it's a small font, it is clear, it's readable. Just a little bit small is all. It does have 16 maps. Now the color, as you can see on these maps, is pretty different compared to a lot of Bible maps. It's on a thinner glossy paper so this is not a cardstock it is pretty thin kind of like a thicker magazine type paper is what it reminds me of but kind of interesting on the colors that they've got in here I don't know if these are just specific to Hendrickson or not but they do have some of them that do have the drawings like we've got the Solomon's Temple so that's kind of neat the way they've, they've got these Pretty bright on the colors as you can see there and you will get glare on that because it is a glossy paper but even still it is just nice when Bibles do in fact have maps I prefer them to have them versus not even if they are kind of different like that and then we just get right into the back of the Bible but as you can see this lays nice and flat no matter where you put it even if you're right there in the beginning or the ending of the Bible it's nice the way they have it. I like the colors that they chose on this one with the flames. I think that looks good. I've seen some of these in their soft covers, and those are a good looking Bible as well. But you can get this hardcover one on sale right now for just $25. So that is a great price on this one. We'll give you another shot of the ISBN number. So there that is there, and it retails for $49.95, but check christianbook.com right now because it is half off. Now I'd like to thank Henriksen Bibles for sending this one out for review. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.